Hey guys, welcome to another video. I hope you guys are all doing well like always. And thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video to watch it. If you are watching this right when I upload it or not far after I upload it, it is just now a second week of 2018. So I hope it's going well for you guys so far. And if you're watching this in the future sometime, still thank you guys so much for watching it. Today's video is going to be the mod that you guys requested most recently, which is the welfare mod. So I'm excited to see what this mod is about and how to use it. I'm kind of, <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this mod. I am excited for it, but then I'm also like, what? Someone really made this mod? I don't know. I'm only excited because I love the story behind the sims like I love making stories if you guys do not know I do make machinima here on my channel and I tell a lot of stories with the sims so this mod is perfect for that but if you're really not a story based player then this mod it probably isn't for you but if you want to try out new things I'm pretty sure this mod would be great but we're gonna read and see what this mod is all about and then I'm gonna show you guys how to install it into your game and then we're gonna go in the game and see what it's all about this mod was created by spent the rhythm I don't know how to say that creators name but that's who it's created by you guys and it's on mod the sims of course the link will be in the description of this video and it was created on December 7th 2017 so not that long ago just last month and that's when you guys requested it but I had in the other mods that I put up before so when I get your requests They'll probably be a week or two weeks after you request them just because I pre-record them. If you guys would like to see me do them not as pre-recorded as I do, just let me know in a comment below. But this mod was created by that creator and it's a basic file mod. And it was made because this sim had some problems with their own family in their sims game and they ended up making... A mod to help the single mom and kids get through without having to get a job so this mod is basically as realistic as possible so the challenge required sticking to low paying jobs they can make up to $335 per week to sit back and do absolutely nothing it's a little bit of money, but it's realistic. Welfare isn't designed to make you rich, just like in real life, so that makes sense. It says to sign up for welfare, you apply for a job like a career and select welfare. So there's a new little thing in the game where you'll be able to see it. This job is only available to adults and elders, and they are saying that they may update it for kids in the future. So that would be really cool because kids can be on welfare in real life so that would be really realistic and it says once you sign up for the job your jobs menu will permanently be minimized there will be no hours or career performance like a typical career however you will not be able to get a second job without leaving welfare this behavior is intended as welfare is not a job but restricts you from getting one which makes sense that's very realistic so on every Wednesday, your sim must leave the house for an hour to collect their check. It will be deposited into your family funds as usual. If you miss the appointment, which is every Wednesday at 2 p.m., you will not get the check for the week. Calling in sick PTO vacation time and other ways are around this disabled. So you cannot do any of that. You can't call in, obviously. It's not a real job. You can't call in to welfare, which is hilarious that they had to put that in here, but that makes sense. You must go there to get paid. It will automatically be sent there unless a door is locked or you are otherwise prevented from leaving. So if you can't leave your lot, your household lot, and you accidentally miss the 2 p.m. mark, you will not get paid. Wow. You will not get paid. So you can still do odd jobs like steal, write books, all that good stuff. Probably plant some things and grow vegetables I would do stuff like that plant paint write most likely write books make money but you can't have a real job so it's just like 
real life. Again, much like real life, cheating the system is completely possible, but anything obvious such as being on payroll is disabled, which is way realistic, like the creator saying, you can leave welfare by quitting the job. So that makes sense as well. Um, yeah, so this mod seems really realistic. And we're gonna see how this works, you guys. We just click on this file and download it. Like usual, you guys, I'm gonna show you how to install into your game, and I'll meet you guys on my desktop. All you do is click on file and then download this zip file. Okay, you guys, so as you can see, we're on my desktop now, and I have my Sims for Electronic Arts Mods folder open, and I also have the file that we just downloaded open. I always download my files to the desktop, that's just easier for me. You'll go to wherever you download your files to and open it up just like I have, and you open up your mods folder. As you can also see, I have no mods in my mods folder right now because I always back them up when testing out mods, not just for tutorials for you guys, but in general. When I download CC for my personal use and my machinima and all that, I never have mods in my game because I want to make sure that the mod does not conflict with the new updates or anything in my game. I think it's the safest way to download CC and that's why I say it in every tutorial that I have. I know some of you guys get irritated with the repetitiveness, but it's very, very important to know that if you test out a mod and you know that it's corrupt, you can take it out without corrupting all of your mods at one time. So I like to have my mods folder empty besides the resource.cfg, which you can never, ever, ever, again, never, ever delete the resource.cfg file because this file makes your game read the mod that you're putting in it. For this mod, you guys, it's very easy. It's just a package file mod. So all you would do is drag and drop it over. It's not a script mod, so all you do is pull it over. I drag and drop because I know for sure it's in there. I don't extract or anything just because I can see it going in there. That's why I have both folders open at one time. So just drag and drop, pull it into the mods folder. It's there, it's a package file. You can close out both and start your game, you guys. And I will meet you guys in the game and show you guys what it looks like if you've installed it correctly. Okay, you guys, so now you can see we're at the start of the game and my mods are popped up. And you can see that underneath custom content, it says Welfare for Sims. That's the name of this mod, Welfare for Sims. And we've installed it correctly. There's nothing underneath script mods because this is a regular mod. Nothing should be underneath script mods at all if you install this correctly. Now, if you did not do what I did at the beginning and you still have mods in your game and you have to scroll through, you might have script mods in your game. But if you did exactly what I did, backed up your mods folder, and then just try this mod out without any mods in your game, then it looks just like this. You are perfectly fine. You can go into your game and start to see how this mod works. Now, if you did not do what I did and you have to scroll through, just make sure you can scroll through your custom content and make sure you see Welfare for Sims somewhere in your mods. And if you see it, then you've done it correctly. This is one of the main signs to see if you've installed a mod correctly. If you see it when you start your game, most likely you've installed it correctly. Now we're gonna hop right into gameplay. Okay, you guys, so now we are inside of the household and as you can see I have a family here in a small home I think it's a 10 by 10 if I did it correctly I just quickly built this home just because on the website for this mod it does say and recommend that you have a 10 by 10 lot and it also recommends that because with a 10 by 10 lot, it costs two to $4,000 every time you get your bills with a small structure such as a trailer and a few lights as possible. Um, so that's what it suggests that you do because the bills come out to be $225 per week. So that's great if you do a 10 by 10 lot because it's saying that you'll be able to keep up with it because welfare will cover all of your expenses basically 
so now we're going to go in and try to make one of these sims get welfare she is pregnant right now well at least i think she's pregnant i think this sim is pregnant but just to be sure we're gonna see oh she's not because you can't take a pregnancy test so she's not pregnant but we're going to have him or should we have her it doesn't really matter we're gonna have i guess we can have her do it and see if she can get a job let's find a job right now find a job and it says welfare recipient so it says welfare recipient for those sims who are disabled unskilled or unable to work the government has a solution for you you won't be living like a king but at least you'll pay the bills welfare offers 335 dollars per week now hiring welfare recipient 335 dollars an hour 2 p.m to 3 p.m on wednesdays that's all that you have to do basically in this picture is hilarious it says for mothers in time of family stress or emergency it says for mothers but you know you don't have to be a mother to get this i just love the description how realistic it is and that they made a little thing on here for the career so we're gonna press okay so on wednesday we have to go so it says welfare recipient. congratulations you're approved for public assistance well hopefully you're not too happy this isn't a good thing. You must report to welfare office every Wednesday to collect your check. If you do not show up, you will not get any assistance for that week. You cannot have a job while on welfare and only one sim in each household may enroll. So you just read it, you guys. Well, I just read it to you guys. Only one sim per household. So he cannot go and get on welfare now that she's on welfare or vice versa. Or if you have a house full of adult sims, only one of them can be on welfare. So... We're going to wait and see what happens on Wednesday, you guys. I'll be back as soon as Wednesday gets here. Okay, so I just put it on speed three. I don't see anything for us to click on to get there. So I don't know where to go or what's pressed. So let's just see if she goes to the welfare office on her own. It does say you must get to the welfare office in an hour to collect your check. And it says she is, oh, she left. So it's, she's gone, 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 gone. It says an hour. You've received your weekly benefit and we have $338. We already had a few simoleons in our bank account. So that is really cool. So the next time we go will be on Wednesday and we have to go every single Wednesday to get our simoleons 225 simoleons or I think it's on the description on the website it says 225 but it says that you must get to the welfare office you received your weekly benefit and it looks like we got more than 225 but maybe not because I think we had like 60 simoleons so maybe somewhere around in there 220 something or 300 simoleons but I think this mod is really, really cool. Way realistic. Way, way, way realistic. And as you guys can see, I did make this sim pregnant. Just so they might be a little bit struggling. He doesn't have a job right now. She's pregnant, you know. Way more realistic that way. But you guys, I really enjoyed this. I thought this mod was going to be way difficult. But it's very, very realistic and very easy to do in your game. And it would probably be really, really fun to have in your game if you wanted to have a struggling family or just individual sim that was trying to get on their feet or something like that that would be really fun if you, well you guys that's it for this mod i hope you guys enjoyed it like it if you like this video share it with someone who's looking to add some new fun game play to their sims game like some storytelling things and like always you guys if you want to subscribe to my channel do not forget to hit that subscribe button for more entertaining tutorials and machinima series from me and hope you guys are having a great morning afternoon or night whatever time of day it is when you watch this video and do not forget to leave me 
comments below about what tutorials you guys would like to see soon. And I will talk to you guys all later.